Yeah, so um, this was now six weeks ago. I was mountain biking with my fiance and just went over the handlebars like it's just a bad accident. We're gonna show that video right now. <laughs> no, we're not. I am. <laughs> I have not, I have not watched the video on purpose. I do have a video though. Um, but anyways, went over the handlebars, I had to get, drove two hours, went into urgent care, or the trauma hospital, and they basically took me and did like full body scans. I broke both sides of my ankle, had surgery, plates, all of that, and then actually broke a piece of my back as well, and then separated my shoulder. It was like a whole thing, whole thing, two weeks before the wedding two weeks before the wedding. So um, it was a crazy moment, but my dad and I actually practiced. Yeah, because I was all bummed out because I was like, oh, for her entire life, she's looking forward to the entrance down the aisle. I've been looking forward to the same thing. Yeah, so we actually, a fun Father's Day moment, we have a picture of my dad walking me down the aisle with one crutch, but mostly leaning on him, and it was really, really sweet. He did we practiced great. that forever, folks. It took a lot of practice. But here's the thing I felt in the hospital at that moment when I was like, oh my gosh, what is happening? And here's what I think this passage also talks about is that one, Jesus is never surprised. Two, Jesus is always prepared. And three, he's always in control. And what I've come to realize is that joy is not just trying to be happy, right? Joy is not like, oh, I'm just conjuring it up in myself. Joy is a byproduct of trust. Joy is a byproduct of trust. The disciples had trust to go into the village off of Jesus' word to pick up that colt and bring it back. The people in the village that when he arrived in this weird ragtag parade had joy because they trusted who this guy was, right? They trusted who he said he was. So how this passage connects to joy for me is not Jesus being like Jesus being happy with his like kind of lame entrance or whatever. Jesus could have done whatever he wanted to. But the joy is these people worshiping and worshiping before and behind him in this because they trusted the one who was in it, right? Joy is not found in met expectations. If joy is found in met expectations, I think all of us are just miserable all the time, right? Joy is found when you can release your expectations to the one who is over all, right? So maybe Jesus isn't really showing up in the way you want him to right now. Like, maybe you kind of expected a lot more of the benefits of following Jesus, you know? Like, like, oh, I thought this was going to be more fun, or I thought this was going to be easier. Or maybe you expected Jesus to show up with that power, right? You expected him to show up and fix the situation or show up in this powerful way, and he's showing up in really humble ways. And you're like, wait, shoot, what's going on? Or maybe you feel, maybe you feel like you're the one getting humbled. But can I just tell you what I feel like God is teaching me in, this mo in these moments is that if we can trust him in the unexpected things right, like sitting in a hospital or you're dealing with something, if you can expect him in the, unex or if you can trust him in the unexpected things, he always, always, always shows himself faithful. And when we trust, we get an uncontainable type of joy. It's trust first, then joy. And because what maybe these people in this passage did or didn't know was that Jesus wasn't showing up in this kind of like weird, humble way because he didn't have power, right? We all know that he has power over all things. He showed up in a humble way because he wasn't looking to conquer you. He was looking to conquer sin and death. He didn't come as a warrior on a war horse. He came as a servant. And he didn't come to kill. He came to bring peace. So Jesus was constantly intentional about breaking down cultural walls, everything against what everyone expected, just so he could get close to them. And he's doing the same thing to you, breaking down your walls so that he can get close to you. How could you not trust somebody like that? 